Hello and welcome to the first SDA tutorial lesson. One of the great advantages of SDA is that it doesn't require any previous knowledge of statistics, but to make it easier for you, we have recorded these video tutorials to get you started and explore the wide variety of data available through the program. In this first lesson, we will familiarize ourselves with the most basic functions of the program, including how to make tabulations of one and two variables. As you know, we have three countries, more than 6,000 respondents, and lots of questions. So how do you find what's actually in the data set? So we go up here, and we click on the codebook, and a new window opens. And viewing the codebook for data set will help you identify which variables you want to analyze. So let's say I'm interested in health data. So I scroll down the table until I find the variable I'm interested in. For example, most urgent health issue in country. So click the variable and you're presented with a table. So here we have the numbers and here we have the percent and here we have the labels, that is, the different health issues. So, for example, I can see that 4.6%, which equals 254 respondents, rated care for pregnant women and infants as the most urgent health issue in their country. So, let's close this window and start making our first and most simple tabulation. Here we have a list of all the variables we could find in the codebook. So we scroll down the list until we find a variable we would like to use. Here's our variable, most urgent health issue in country. So click the variable and specify it as the row variable. For the option weight, we choose individual weight. And that is because the variable we're interested in is a question asked for an individual respondent. We also have the option to choose household weight and that's the option we would choose for questions such as the household's monthly spendings on food. This is not terribly important, but it's still useful for you to know. So we choose individual weight, and that's really all we need to do, and run the table. And we now get the output with a raw number of responses. The result of our tabulation shows the variable frequency distribution with percentages. In other words, we can again see that 5.1%, which equals 280 respondents, rated tuberculosis as the most urgent health issue in their country. And if we scroll down the list, we find a stacked bar chart that presents us with the same information as in the table, but graphically. And at the very end of the page, in the box allocation of cases, we find how many cases were actually used in the analysis. In this tabulation, it was 5,502 cases. If you wish to save the results from your tabulation and use it, for example, in a Word document, simply copy the table or the chart and paste it into a Word document. As you see, this is really easy and it is a good beginning, but you should remember that the data we found right now is for all the South Caucasus. In most cases, that is not really what we will be looking for. So how do we go about for getting data for each country separately? To do that, we would need to run a so-called cross-tabulation. So we return to SDA. We keep most urgent health issue as our row variable, but we also add country as our column variable. For weight, we keep the individual weight, and in table options for percentaging, we want to have it presented by column as we're interested in each country separately. And again, that's all we need to do, and run the table. We can now see what the most urgent health issues are separated by country. So, for example, we can see that in Armenia, heart diseases are rated as the most urgent health issue, followed by the quality of medical care. 
Running cross tabulations also allow us to compare the results between the countries. So we can see that 6.7% in Armenia rates diabetes as the most urgent health issue in comparison to 12.2% in Azerbaijan and 1.9% in Georgia. And again, if we scroll down, we're presented with the same information in the stacked bar, bar charts, each country separately. So, again, let's see, there. Uh, we specify the most urgent health issue as the row variable. As for column variable, we add country, keep the individual weight, and the percentaging in column. So, in just a few clicks, we can make our own CRAS tabulations, and already now you can use SCA to generate a whole variety of information. We hope you found this useful, and I hope you will join us in our second lesson, and thank you for watching.